Hey guys, how you doing? Bill here. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove a browser hijacker. Um, it is probably one of the most common, so to say, viruses that exist, uh, you know, in the internet world. And br what browser hijackers do is they actually uh, take control of your browser um, and they will uh, send you towards uh, websites that are less desirable and usually not safe. Um, for you to uh, to navigate in, um, you know, they'll take you to websites like SoftSonic or you know other malicious websites that ask you to download numerous amounts of things. But I'm going to show you here on on Google Chrome where to go to actually uh, delete a browser hijacker. I'm going to show you on Google Chrome, and I'm also going to show you on Microsoft Edge. Um, they're just the two most popular browsers right now. Um, and the process for removing it on these two browsers is pretty much the same as it would be in any other browser. So if you use Firefox, it's going to be the same. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with Chrome. So we're gonna go over to the Chrome screen here, which is on the right side, and those three little dots in the right-hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and click on those three little dots in the right-hand corner. And it's gonna give this drop-down menu here, okay? And you're gonna go all the way to the bottom almost and click left-click on settings. And then once you left-click on settings, it's gonna take you to this screen. Now this screen right here, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom, and where it says search engine used in the address bar, you wanna make sure that this uh, is for Google Chrome specifically you want to make sure this is Google and the default search engine for Microsoft Edge is going to be Bing But we'll get back to Microsoft Edge in a second But you want to make sure that you don't have a malicious a malicious browser that's saved in here So we're going to click on manage search engines And if you look in here, you can see I have some stuff that I visited here My it also it's going to show you some you know websites or other search engines that you've used uh, within the browser as well but up here at the top where it says default search engines and uh, and where it says search engine, this is where these are the only ones you should have in here by default. If you have any other ones in here um, or ones that you're familiar with or ones that you feel like you should use, um, I'd say go ahead and keep it. But I make sure that uh, all my customers and myself uh, stick to these default browsers and not necessarily move away from them. Google more specifically is probably the best one out there and it has been for a very long time. So if you're anything but Google, um, uh, anything but Google, Yahoo, Bing, Ask, or AOL, um, I recommend you just go to the three little dots at the end of whatever one that shouldn't be there and hit remove from list. So that way it can't reinitiate itself once you restart your browser. And in some very rare occasions, you might have to delete Google Chrome and reinstall it. But we're going to try and avoid doing that because I know most of you probably have bookmarks that you have on here that you don't want to lose. So we're going to avoid having to go through that process. The next thing you want to do also to uh, the secondary to the uh, browser hijacker changing your search engine is that usually they'll also change your home page or what page opens up in the beginning. You'll see here I don't have a home page. I don't use home pages. Um, so where it says add a new page, I'll just type in something like Kadaza, Kadaza.com. Uh, that's a I know that's I know that's a that's a familiar one that I see quite a bit that people don't intentionally put on there uh, that does take them to malicious websites when they're searching or browsing. Um, so just to show you what that does, so when I'm going to close Google Chrome, I'm going to close Microsoft Edge for now. When I open up, when I open up Google Chrome, it's going to take me to this. This looks uh, very generic. If you're not, if you don't frequently work with computers, this looks very generic. This looks very normal. Um, but in retrospect, this actually is a browser hijacker and it has changed your homepage for you. And this is where it's now going to take you to the websites that it suggests rather than what Google suggests, which is a public search engine, whereas this is uh, managed by private organizations. So I'm going to go back down to settings again, same exact way we did, three little dots in the corner, a little drop down menu, very easy, three little dots next to where it says uh, Kadazza, I'm just using this website as an example. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit remove here. And now your browser hijacker is gone. So I'm going to go ahead and close it all out. We're going to open up Google Chrome again. And now you can see we're just back to the standard Google page, which is what it should be. You know, Google's a standard search engine. And we don't have uh, anything opening up uh, or changing the home pages uh, to, to uh, force you to search in specific locations that you're not looking for. So that's how you do that in Google Chrome. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do it in Microsoft Edge. So I don't use Microsoft Edge too much, so we're going to have to look it up in the uh, search engine for me here. It's the exact same thing, except the dots are <laughs> in a different direction. So we're just going to go to the three little dots here. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, hit settings. And you're going to pretty much have all of your settings right in here. And we're going to go to view advanced settings. So right there where it says change search engine is what we're going to be making sure is on Bing. 
So by default, you should only have Bing. So if you have other ones on here, if I mean, if you choose to add one, I'd say add Google. I wouldn't use any other search engines really. But like I said, you know, Google, Yahoo, AOL, um, there's some things that mimic Yahoo. So I've just kept my customers and myself away from Yahoo for a very long time because there's some things that have Yahoo in the name that aren't actually Yahoo. So just stick, make sure it's w.bing.com or .aol, AOL.com or Google.com. Um, but Bing is, is the default. If you see any other ones on here that you don't use, go ahead and hit remove. So that way when you're searching for things in the same manner as Google, or Google Chrome, you're not taken to these malicious locations. Also, as far as the uh, as far as the home page goes, let's go back and take off advanced settings. So we're gonna go here where it says open Microsoft Edge with, and see where it says start page. That start page is just going to be the default page for Microsoft Edge, that the start, that's what the start page setting is. Uh, but if you got hit with a browser hijacker, um, you might have new tab page or previous pages or a specific page or pages. Uh, so whatever's in there, you just basically want to delete it um, or change it back to where it says start page. So you're back to the default settings in Microsoft Edge. And that just about covers it for getting rid of a browser hijacker. Thank you for watching.